I was nine years old in July 1969, and very vividly, I remember exactly where I was and who I was in the room with when when we first landed on the moon, and it was incredibly inspirational. And that's what motivated me. That's what got me interested in science and math and engineering, and it, it took over my education and my interests, and it drove me to want to come and work in the space program. It was just such an exciting time. Like, at one point we decided, that thing up there, we're gonna go, and we're gonna actually see what it looks like. I think it's daring and, and, and exciting, and it's something I really wanted to be a part of. Go. Talcom. Go. GNC. Go. Ecom. Go. Surgeon. Go. Capcom, we're go for landing. Altitude 4200. Houston, you're a go for landing. Over. After we had gotten to a pretty serious point in the descent where we either had to fish or cut bait, so to speak, that we got a sudden signal that said the computer's overloaded. A program alarm. Looking good to us, over. It's 1202. 1202. The warning was uh, very disturbing, to say the least. Give us a reading on the 1202 program alarm. And it took one of our flight controllers about 30 seconds, 20, 30 seconds to get an answer to that. And as soon as we started taking in the new landing radar, then that corrected the errors that were possible errors that could be in the computer. Now, having then done all of that, it turns out that we were in the wrong place. We didn't know the condition of the surface of the moon at that point. We knew the surface of the moon was smooth where we wanted to land, but we didn't know the, the large craters, et cetera, and the large rocks that existed where we were going to land. Now, and Neil Armstrong did, because he could see it. He stops the descent and starts flying the thing, the vehicle like a, like a helicopter, which you could do with the lunar module, transposing the thing across the surface until he could find a reasonable place to land. When he started doing that then, he was rapidly using up the fuel that he had as a backup to do what he was doing. And we knew damn well he was gonna put that damn thing down at that point, somewhere. He was gonna put it down, even though it might be too rough, even though it might be a big crater, even though he might land on the side of a crater. Okay, engine stop. We copy you down, Eagle. Houston, uh, Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. Roger, Twink. Tranquility, we copy you on the ground. You got a bunch of guys about to turn blue. We're breathing again. Thanks a lot. Exciting. I don't know how you could ever do anything that would be more exciting than that in your lifetime. Any engineer or any patriot. I think I cried when they touched down. And I knew they were on the ground, they were safe. I was probably saying a lot of prayers too. The faces and all these people all over the world show awe and joy. It was nice to bring awe and joy to the world. That's something that I'll, uh, I'll never, never forget. You know, just the joy. We had at least landed. And now the challenge was to do a little bit of whatever we were gonna do, place the flag and do a little experimentation, grab some some regolith and some rocks and then get back in and come back safely. So. Eight, seven, six, five, fourth stage, engine arm asset, proceed. Very good.
Apollo gave us a lot of impetus, just like Lindbergh flew the Atlantic. He didn't do much engineering-wise, but he charged everything up. So Apollo charged things up, but now we have the trauma of Apollo euphoria to live with. Now that is a powerful trauma. Ah, damn, we've been to the moon, we'll go to Mars. Well, <laughs> where's the money coming from? To have allowed us to be in as this country to get in this position today to where we don't have our transportation that we we own to put our own people into space and get them back again is 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 absurd. I don't like it. I just hope one of these days we'll be back to where we're controlling our own destiny when it comes to uh, the exploration of space with humans. Running, commit, liftoff. Pete Conrad reports the your program is in. Okay, battle has it look. Looks good here, flight. Good agreement. Okay, good. How do you look? That's what he looks good, flight. Okay, Capcom, we go beyond the ground.